Hey guys, me and Guys P2024, and before I start this video on me showing my finished Halo armor, which if you haven't been following me on TikTok, I actually have been working on it for quite a while, but I just never got around to painting it, and of course I had to get that assortment of paint. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I recently noticed that 97.9% of the people who watch my channel or watch my videos um, have not really subscribed. But yeah, roughly 97.9% of people have not subscribed to my channel. Now that's a really high number because I looked on my YouTube studio app that I have on my phone, which I'm recording from right now, and there is a really low number of people who have subscribed and a lot of people who have watched my vi my videos for a long time. And I appreciate that because I've been doing, you know, YouTube for a long time. But I'm a little concerned about the fact of the 97.9% of those who have not subscribed. So I'm not saying that I'm mad at those who haven't because they may have particular reasons and I will respect their reasons. But I'm asking out of the kindness of my heart because I do these videos for your enjoyment, to help you, mostly to just entertain you, because of course I haven't done a how-to video in a long time, and most of the videos I do are to inform you, to present you stuff, as well as, um, of course, entertain you for the benefit of what I do. And of course you could tell I put my figures up on my shelves that I got um, a few days ago, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, I'll do, I'll talk about that later on in the video. But for those who have not subscribed to the channel, please do so because I worked really hard, I work really hard on the videos. I try to focus on what I want to do for you guys. I want to try and show you guys what I can put, what I can do on. I really do want to do more of these videos, but I can't do that without your guys' support because the more you guys subscribe, the more that gives me the courage to go out and make more and more things like the halo armor that i finished like the uh 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 homemade skywalker saber that i made like the homemade wolf predator that i made like the reaver um re better versioned variation of the sam raimi spider-man figure that i fixed up the more you guys subscribe, the more it gives me the courage to do more videos like this. Well, not like this, since it's going to be the beginning part of the video, but I really do want you guys to, to show me that you care. So, if you guys have not subscribed, please, please do so now. Because it will give me more enthusiasm, it will give me more courage, and of course it will give me more delight knowing that you guys enjoy watching my content and i've been doing this for a long time as i said before so for the 97.9 percent .9 of the people who have not watched my video my videos or who have but have not subscribed please do so now and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys at the end of the video Hey guys, so today, um, since it's been a while since I showed off my finished, or since I showed my Halo armor, uh, ever since I finished making my Halo helmet, which is right here, this big boy, a major improvement from the version 1, that I decided to actually use for cosplaying, I actually took it upon myself to actually make a full uh, Halo armor well, cosplay. Which took me a few days to actually finish since I had to do it part by part and I didn't have enough time to do it because of school. But I'm not gonna, you know, hold that against me. And of course, um, uh, after doing a lot of hard work and now today just finishing adding the final coat of paint so that it can protect the paint, mainly like, mainly like a clear coat so that it wouldn't, um, you know, get scratched off or anything. It's finally finished and the only thing I just need to get now is a bodysuit so that I can wear it underneath and of course so that you know 
I don't have to worry about wearing pants or jeans. I sh jeans, I, sh I should say. The only thing I have to wear is just shoes, since I don't want to make, since I don't want to go through the whole hassle of making boots, since that would be way too complicated for me to try and do on my own without a template. But anyway, I'm going to show you each part of the armor uh, from the top half to the lower half. So if you guys see me move the camera a bit, that's the one to show you guys the certain parts of the armor. My phone over there, so you guys can see, you know, the little part of my room. But uh, yeah. I'm actually doing it now. I'm not going to pause the video right now. Or the recording. Alright. Yeah, I'm not down. So yeah. Alright, I'm wearing this. I'm not going to wear the whole armor uh, fully. But I will be showing you part by part. Um, the top half and then the lower half. Uh, when I get the bodysuit from either Walmart or Target or wherever it has like uh, spandex bodysuits or morph suits. I will show you the full cosplay on my Instagram. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram, it's GavisPeet724. Go check me out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, first let's show you the chest and arm pieces as well as the helmet. So this is the finished chest piece. I took it upon myself to actually make it like a little flat on the chest because I didn't want to get seen as if um, there was a lot um, to do. Because of course, if I started making the main breastplate or chest piece like really thick as it, as it was in the game, it would take me like an extra few hours for me to do. So I decided to do a bit of a shortcut, but it was worth it. And of course, you may be wondering why uh, if you, I don't know if you can see it properly, but I don't, uh, you may be wondering why there's a gray, uh, silver or metallic gray uh, peeling a bit. And that is actually from the clear coat I gave the entire suit of uh, the entire armor piece because um, I wanted to try and do a method of adding a clear coat onto it to protect the paint. And surprisingly, it worked, but it peeled off some parts of the paint. I made it run a bit, but um, it actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. So, yeah. So it's a two in one. So let's put this on. It's held together by... It's not really hard to get on, it's just the whole method of how to put it on that makes it difficult. But, yeah. This is the chest piece, and when I have the whole morph suit, it'll look more natural. But right now I'm wearing my Suicide Squad shirt. But, yeah. Let me move this up a bit so you guys see my face. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, you can obviously tell that the red is not match, but I don't want to go through the whole, um hassle of repainting this since I painted it a long time ago with a different color or different shade of red and I don't want to repaint this since I already put a clear coat on it but yeah so this is what it looks like with the helmet on actually before I before I put the helmet on let me actually uh put the bicep and lower arm pieces on so that you guys can see it in full Actually, let me get like a undershirt on real quick. Give me one second. All right, so I got the black undershirt on. Put my hand through the finger holes if I can put the thumb holes. But yeah, this is what it looks like with the black. You guys can get the idea of like what it looks like with a full spandex bodysuit or yeah. So. It started looking like Halo as is. Mm. Now I wanted now when I made this whole suit, I wanted to keep it uh, relatable to the Mark VI from Halo 3. But uh, if you guys watched the video of me making portions of the armor on my Instagram, yeah, so, yeah. So this is what it looks like shoulder bits on and just for the fun of it i'm going to show you what it looks like with the helmet on so, yeah. like i still have visibility 
because it's lightly sprayed with gold spray paint and I did add a bit of um, like a clear coat so that I could still see out of it. And it's actually really, really nice because it actually protects the gold paint. And uh, yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll actually use this uh, portion of the armor in some TikTok videos. But uh, yeah, now you may be wondering why there's a slit down the back of the armor. And that's because I want to try and make it easier for me to try and uh, um, uh, get into the chest piece. Because if I did, if I didn't add the back slit, then um, it would have been difficult, and I'd have to try and like add like a zipper or something. But this was a pretty much easy method for me. But uh, yeah, so this is the main chest piece and bicep portions. And of course, you can easily see, let me try. Let me show you on the other one. You can easily see there's bits of red smearing off, and that's not that wasn't uh, by mistake. That's actually intentional from the uh, clear coat as well. But on this one, it actually doesn't look that, that bad. If you look at it from the inside of the elbow, oh, you can notice it. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy on how this all came out. But um, it's like you're trying to get into most of the suit. So let me narrow this. A little bit. You can obviously see the shins. Oh, 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 oh. Put that there. Now the waist, I want to try and keep it simple as much as I could. And no, I don't have any black spandex jeans, so bear with me. Get this on. One, and then find one. Now, now you guys may be wondering what the most difficult part to put, the uh, most, most difficult part of the armor to put on. It would have to be the legs themselves. Because for one, the arms, they were easy because I had them, I had one already pre-made and it was easy to make for the forearms. And the same with the biceps, except I had to use a bit of a, a bit of a homemade template, as you, as you could say, you could say. But with the thighs, since I never really officially made thigh armor before, I want to try and improvise and use the same method. So that's the thigh pieces. I can still move my knees because I made a little U cut on the back. Same thing for the calf armor. I didn't want to make it too bit small. And I think I'm thinking about cutting down the, the fo internal foam because I put a bit of foam because I thought it would be a little too loose when I first tried it on, and that was without fabric. But since the fabric is seems to be hindering the suit a bit and my skin, I'm thinking about removing that, so it'll be easier. And just the knee pad itself, right here, is hindering the top portion. And yes, it is a little small, but hey, I wanted to get an extra, you know, knee movement, uh, foot movement, or ankle movement, if you want to call it that. So yeah. And now for the final one. Now I'm not gonna pull down the, le the legs of my jeans or the sleeves of my jeans or pre bottoms if you wanna call them that. Cause I'm gonna just show you what they look like if I were to wear it with spandex. Since I got one portion of that now. This is honestly a lot easier. I'm putting, this is a lot harder than me putting on the flash suit that I have. Okay. All right. So now, get everything on. I do have to, I'm gonna have to slide down the knees a little, the thighs a little bit so that I wouldn't look too stupid. Let me bring that down. Bring this a bit. But, uh, yeah. This is the entire Halo armor. 
Uh, the other thing, of course, missing is the black spandex underneath. So I will be getting, I will be looking at Walmart to try and find it. Whew. But yeah, I'm going to show, actually, let me raise the camera up a bit so I can show you guys my, the full appearance with it on. Because if you guys are going to be seeing me during Halloween, which is almost right around the corner, you guys are going to be noticing that I'm going to be there as this. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, and you guys may be making fun of uh, I like the calf pieces, but I tried making them as long as I could. I didn't want to, I didn't want to waste too much time trying to make them precise. Because at the time, I thought that, I thought it would be pretty easy to do. But yeah, the main difficult part that I know people may be asking is like, what maybe the, the difficult part of making? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Uh, the one thing that I thought I think people may be asking will be um, what was the most difficult part to make and honestly it would have to be the legs many of the legs themselves not this not the uh, portions of the leg but just the entire leg in general because they were unplanned entirely I thought I would just be like okay I'll just make the design make it all done 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 and then I'll be good to go. But when I got into more depth of making the legs, my dog was laying on my door. So I thought I thought he was um, almost knocking on my door. But um, it was like, oh yeah. The most difficult part to make of the soup was mainly the thighs and the calves, which I don't feel as if they should be improved since they're mainly just um, just on the lower part floor part of the soup and if I ever wanted to improve I could just add like small bits of cardboard to make it look better but I think this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get for now um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did and you want to actually uh see me wear this during out on Halloween or if you guys just want to see me wear this on uh TikTok be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on the post notifications and if you haven't told, if you haven't noticed in the beginning of the video, uh, I said that there was a certain amount of individual of us uh, percent of subscribers who have not subscribed to my channel yet. So if you're within that 97.9% um, of people who have not subscribed yet, subscribe right now. The button's right down there. It's free for you to do. It's free for you to touch it. So go ahead, click it, hit the bell. Same thing with the likes and comments. Click it down there. Type whatever you want to say down here, as long as it's nice. I like nice comments. And plus, if I ever find, and plus, I'll be kind of surprised if people will send me hate comments saying, oh, you didn't do the cash right, or oh, the armor doesn't look nice. Well, I'll take it as is. <sighs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I need to get out of this thing. My legs are starting to hurt.